Hi all, I hope you're really doing well this evening. I look forward to reading the cards for you. I laid them out. As you can see, there are a lot of decks here and I just wanted to make sure that I didn't waste your time. So here in the left column, we have a number, pile number one. What do I need to think about? And so we need to shift, you need to shift your perception. Think about shifting your perception. What do you need to think about? Think about shifting your perception. Um, you're going to need to surround yourself with some protective energy. Try to see through your spiritual eyes um, into the sacredness of this experience that you're having. Try to communicate, compromise, forgive, work it out. You're not feeling very strong right now. You could be suffering a weakness, an insecurity. Maybe you're suffering with your pride, uh, struggling with your pride in this. You don't want to. You don't want to seem like you're obsessed with this person. Like, um, or maybe maybe you don't want them to think that you're obsessed. You don't want to be seen as though you're obsessed. There's some secrets. You feel good when you're in service to this person and to others. You're an official person. You've been burned before and it's hard for you to open up and to trust people. But it's time to let someone in and, and love again. You feel that you don't have any alliances. Like maybe you don't have a support group or maybe you don't have a lot of friends around you. But this is the new start. This is this is a new start, and you've gained some wisdom uh, throughout this this experience. Knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom, Aristotle, and your secrets are safe. So there's that. What do I need to do? What do I need to do? Well, embrace the energy of peace. Tune in to the natural rhythm of life. <coughs> Tune in to your intuition. The red flags you ignore now will come back to bite you later. So tune into your intuition. Get into the rhythm of life. And embrace the energy of peace. We got the wheel of fortune here in the upright. So um, we've got some good luck and some karma. Life cycles, destiny. So there is a predictable, an unpredictable turn of the wheel. So it's a return to the beginning. One cycle ends and another begins. Hopefully, it's on a higher level in the spiral of life. And so it's really important that we embrace the energy of peace and get into this rhythm of life. Get in touch with our intuition. Um, it looks like you're not willing to take the high road. You're, you're reminiscing about this relationship. You miss the inside jokes. You could be in, in denial. This says, I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. So it could be that you're very, you're, you're shut down, you're closed down. It could be that you're in protection, your self protection mode and you completely maybe shut down because of this argument or this shift that's going on in your, in your world right now with this privileged lady. You're an official man and or an official person and she's a privileged lady. Um, broken. They didn't keep the promises they made. They may break your heart, but not your spirit. Use your intuition. Um, so we've got here um, the feminine, and she's saying, okay, but she came out in reverse. And on the bottom of this card is stability, harmony, and acceptance. So this looks like this woman... Um, Obviously, you must be the masculine unless you're in a same-sex uh, couple situation, which is there's nothing wrong with that either. But this particular person who is the partner of you 
um, <clears throat> they're not stable, they're not in a state of harmony, they're um, not able to accept. It could be very difficult to communicate with this person. Um, there is a destiny here. It is not in the stars to hold our destiny, but in ourselves. It is not in the stars to hold our destiny, but in ourselves. And so it's time to, you know, focus. What do you want? What do you really want? You know, obviously there's, there's a lot of hurt going on here. There's a lot of um, dramatic things happening that are, that are kind of kicking you out of this energy of peace, causing you the, necess the necessity to protect yourself. So in this situation, um, think about what it is you want in your future. What do you want your destiny to hold? And a temptation may lead you astray, a siren. So um, while you're going through this, just be aware and, um, you know, that temptation is going to arise. And it always does. When in the, in the middle of, 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 an, of an event like this, there will always be a siren to come in or some such figure to tempt us and to pull us into. This is a perfect opportunity to pull you into further into so and this is what you just have to be be aware of be aware of this temptation with this siren they you know it may lead you astray so focus on you and what it is you want get in the rhythm of life use your intuition embrace the energy of peace what is my challenge so what is your challenge your challenge is dream and journey, dream and journey, insight, be open to enchantment. So it could be that your, that your challenge is the dream state. Maybe you or another are an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. But so dream and journey, be open to enchantment, open your mind, you know, um, these spiritual realms, it's not just a dream. These are actual experiences for us in an alternate reality in an alternate form, but it's all part of our same experiences. So if we can open up and be aware of and embrace that the journey of that experience, you know, that we will, um, oftentimes a lot of our answers come that way. Spirit, spirit speaks that way. They speak in pictures. They speak in song lyrics. They, they will use words at times, but most often I find it's thoughts and songs and pictures. Okay, so anyway, what is your challenge? You've got the four of wands reversed. So yeah, there's a conflict um, in the, there's a home conflict. There's a breakdown in communication and, uh, and um, conflict with others. Somebody's not ready to commit. Um, we, they don't, um, but somebody else doesn't want a divorce. They don't want to separate. Um, so somebody somebody wants to go further they want to they want to get married they they want to move forward but the other person's like no i don't uh, they're not interested in that so i'm sorry i don't it appears that maybe it's this is your partner because you're the masculine and it, it appears to me that you are you want to you want to commit but they're this person isn't ready and it looks like they they would like to break up and you feel overwhelmed, the stress from this is draining you. Everything happens in divine order, um, so practice patience. That's a challenge. You could be challenged by practicing patience, like you're overwhelmed. Maybe you're all out of patience. This is affecting your health um, in a negative way. You don't want to be under adjudication. Yeah, this is a, you, this, you could be married. This is a husband wife. 
but not ready to commit. Like, like somebody doesn't want to, like, maybe you are already married, but somebody wants a divorce They're they're done. They don't want to like whatever you've been doing, they don't want to do it anymore. What well, that's your challenge. They don't want to do it anymore. It's affecting your health negatively. You're overwhelmed. Lost, you feel like you have been abandoned, but there is a deeper connection coming. Ruins. Things you no longer need are falling away to make room for the love you deserve. Focus on your goal. Okay, we got self-love, and it came out in the rebirth. So, um... You're not focused on your self-love. You're not focused on self-healing. Um, you're not, you don't really care about yourself right now at all. So that's kind of sad. Um, you got some hidden secrets. Three things cannot be long hidden. The sun, the moon, and the truth, Buddha. So there's, there's some hidden secrets here. And elegance and patience. Nature does not hurry, yet everything is accomplished. So elegance and patience. This is an opportunity to exercise patience and see the beauty and in the wild, in the wild things of life. You know, um, in nature, those beautiful weeds. that feed the bees and are so beautiful. And your perseverance is going to be rewarded. And what is your secret weapon? What is your secret weapon? Well, shedding of the old skin. Releasing the old, um, your secret weapon is your ability to step away. You don't get hung up. You don't get snared in um, any particular destructive um, practices, although you may be tempted by um, a siren. Your secret weapon is your courage. You have courage in the face of conflict. And you have the ability to manifest your dreams. You know, you're, you're in your life purpose. You have the ability to manifest your dreams. Yeah, your dreams. Dream and journey. It seems to be, this is, um, so that dream and journey was in the, dream and journey is in the, what's my challenge? So, it sounds like your greatest secret weapon, one of your, your, your secret weapon is manifesting your dreams. So it could be with all this drama going on, this breakup that you have uh, stepped away or stopped practicing your, your dream journey, um, that maybe you have um, stopped being open to enchantment. And this is a reminder to get back into that. Um, your, your secret weapon, sexual chemistry, intimacy. You must be a, you must be a, um, lover. All the girls must love you. So we've got the Seven of Cups reversed. So there could be a lot of choices. There may be some illusion. Um, you may not. You may not be interested in dating. You're not interested in dating. You have a lot. You have a lack of purpose. You got personal values. You don't really want to go out and date. You're not. But sh but um, you're. You don't even want to have a conversation with anybody.
your secret weapon is avoiding conversations, perhaps. <laughs> your secret weapon, avoiding the dating game. Your secret weapon. I don't know. I think your secret weapon is, is being able to walk away from the old with courage and manifest your dreams. And you're um, obviously a very passionate person. And you don't want to play the dating game. You don't want to go out and have lots of conversations with people. You don't want to get caught up in that illusion and diver diversion. You don't want to be overwhelmed by choices. You want a reunion with somebody um, that you perhaps know from your past. Somebody is confused. They're unclear as to where you stand. And um, they're not realizing they're so this is this is the shadow side card, but it came out in the reverse. And what it says is you made me realize my flaws. So they're confused. They don't even realize what they did wrong. They don't know exactly why you're leaving. They're they're detached. We got doubt in the reverse. I released the need to know all the answers. So she um, she's confused. She doesn't realize what her flaws is, and she's insisting on knowing all of the answers. Your secret weapon is just walking away. She's she's working um, she's working very diligently, and it looks like um, on the dark side. Your secret weapon, or maybe your secret weapon is an occupation. Maybe you. No, 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 no. Occupation. She she has an occupation. It looks like on the dark side. Your dark side keeps you from enjoying the love you have. Don't let it steal your joy. So I don't know what this particular um, card is trying to say. I could speculate and I could come up with all kinds of things, but this is your story and I'll just let you um, decide what that is. We have endorsement. So somebody wasn't willing to take a bribe. You weren't willing to take a bribe, and that's your secret weapon. You didn't take a bribe. You didn't take a bribe with this dark side business. You weren't working. You weren't working with this um, dark side business. You didn't take a bribe. You're you um, are full of majesty and virtue. The lily is the emblem rare of many virtues, good and rare. So. It's like you are a very upright, upright person. And now once you walk away from this <clears throat> and shed all that old skin and manifest your dreams of, you know, sexual chemistry with this reunion, somebody from your past, it looks like you're, you're wanting to move toward, um, locked doors can now be open. So once you walk away from this whole business, locked doors can now be open. In the outgoing energy, we have connect with your emotions, um, have courage to follow your own path, and somebody is still trying to figure themselves out in their sexuality, so I don't know who that is. Maybe this is who you're wanting to have a reunion with, or maybe this is who this um, your, your wife is, or your, who you are committed with right now. Or maybe it's this siren that you may be tempted by. But there's um, a lot of emotional baggage. A lot of emotional baggage. Somebody's upset because there's not a lot of money to be had. They don't want to be in poverty. It looks like it's the female. She um, She's upset because there's not enough money. And she doesn't want to be in poverty. So she's holding back. She's holding back. She wants to grow. She wants to expand. And and, in, and it looks like she's not willing to settle down or be responsible. But it's time to commit and put down roots. So... If she doesn't want to do that, I mean, it looks like here you you uh, 
you're presenting, you're presenting the ring. And she's like, nope. You don't want to split up. You don't want to split up. You want to get together. And she's like, no. She's not willing to settle down and be responsible. And there's no compromise. There's there's no compromise about it. It's, it is what it is. And and you um you might want to be happy about that, you know, because it it could have been a trap. You know, where all of your all of your abundance could have been, you know, turned upside down. All of your dreams turned upside down. All of your savings turned upside down, you know. You you may have gotten into some serious trouble. There could have yeah, your curse could have backfired, or maybe it did. Somebody's a bully, you know, she's a she's a bully. And you made a promise to her or or your, she rejected your promise because maybe she's just not stable. Maybe she's only intent on robbing somebody. She just doesn't want to be homeless. I don't know, but she's not interested in this vow. Hmm. All right. But we got the gate. A barrier keeps you from your goals. So... Devotion and dreams fulfilled. So the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. So if you believe in the beauty of your dreams and, and um, you know, locked doors can be open, maybe you can now move forward to this person from the past. She's confused. Maybe she was expecting you to have this barrier to keep you from your goal. Emotions are at their peak. The king is here. Authority and discipline. Yeah. You're, you're, you're going to get honor and good luck bestowed upon you. And your abilities are going to be enhanced. A sly and subtle approach is necessary. And you got good fortune and friendship coming in. So all in all, um, all in all, I think this is, this is a pretty good read. You know, if you think so, I hope that this helps you. Um, thanks.